Hey everybody, my name's Daryl O'Bear. Welcome back to my Mondays. So a buddy of mine recently sent me an email saying that he's discovered a bug in 2015 and asked if I knew anything about it. Actually, I didn't. So um, I looked into it a little bit and I came up with a workaround to, uh, to address the problem. So basically, there's a texture caching issue that's happening with um, the IBL node in 2015. Essentially, if you pipe in a large EXR file the kind of standard way just using the image file input the problem comes into play um, in the fact that it's not getting cached properly when you're working interactively inside of Maya so if you're doing things like IPR rendering every time you make a slider change in the user interface it has to reload that file and it's not keeping it locally or cached so that creates a problem if it takes 10-15 seconds to load in a big EXR file or something maybe off of a remote drive you know it makes it so that every time you make a slider change in, in IPR it's not responsive, it doesn't really work well. The interesting thing is um, Ludwig discovered that if you use the file texture type node, so instead of doing, um, you know, using the file in right here in image name, if you switch it to texture, it is caching properly, but the problem is the viewport displays it incorrectly in 2015. So you can see that it's basically flipped that map upside down and obviously the color correction on it looks looks all wonky. So the way I got uh, my hack to get around this was I figured, you know what, if I'm using this this texture node, why don't I just texture map a sphere and have that sphere be my display in my viewport? And that's exactly what I did. So parented underneath my IBL node, I've got this IBL hack, which is just simply a sphere. And if we jump to my channel box and turn on the display of that guy, you can see that that sphere has the texture map obviously gamma corrected correctly, looking good in my viewport, and it's going to line up with what the IBL node is going to use for the render. Now one thing to mention is this sphere, I've just used that same texture map, right, that was shoved into the IBL node, going to a surface shader, and then at the shading group level, I've told the surface shader not to export out the Maya shader. So by suppressing all Maya shaders, basically what I'm doing is this, this doesn't get passed over to mental rate of render. So it's really just in viewport 2.0. So with this simple little trick, I've now got a scene that if we IPR render this guy, it's going to obviously look correct in my viewport, and then obviously the um, the background image is going to be correct. You know, the lineup's going to be correct. I think I have infinite turned on. That's why it looks a little different um, in the viewport versus versus the render here. But essentially, it's not flipped upside down, and you know everything looks looks really pretty pretty good. And then obviously because I IPR rendered this guy and I start to make changes to my to my texture or to my uh, you know my scene here everything updates in real time it's not trying to cache in some file that's taking 10 15 seconds to cache in so it's a simple little trick but it it does sort of work around the um the bug that was introduced in 2015 so hopefully if anybody's been running into this uh this workflow issue um this this hack will will get you through it and I've sent the file up to Q&A, so I think everyone's aware of it now, and hopefully it'll, it'll get sorted out. Um, we'll see. All right. Cheers, everyone. Take it easy.